No one ever said cartoons were just for boys. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 animated shows with female leads. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at animated television series that feature one or more female lead characters. Number 10. Totally Spies What am I gonna do, girls? <laughs> Sam, Alex, and Clover are three high school girls in Beverly Hills, California, who moonlight as secret agents for an agency called Whoop. And it's our job to solve that mystery and find the missing passengers? Precisely. Created with an anime-styled aesthetic, the quirky protagonists have a dynamic that manages to be funny while remaining genuine to their personalities. The series succeeds in being equal parts relatable and action-packed, as the spies deal concurrently with typical high school problems while also venturing into the outlandish. Ice Cream Perfume, actually a concentrated freezing agent. Perfect for cooling off a hot date. Though they aren't the only badass young ladies to lead an animated series, Spies shapes its own tone and identity that separate the show from its peers and earns itself a spot on this list. And in the event of a whirlpool, Clover's shoes may be used as a flotation device. Number 9. The Mighty Bee Amy Poehler co-created this quirky Nickelodeon series and voices the lead character. Need we say more? Bessie Higginbottom is a hyperactive 9 and 3 quarters year old girl who is committed to earning every Honey Bee badge in order to become the superhero, the Mighty Bee. I'm not the Mighty Bee yet, Ben. I still have 4,584 badges to go. Though Bessie could have easily been a one-note annoying character, her intelligence, persistence, and sense of morality make her a lovable heroine, odd as she may be. Well, it's a little abstract for me. But anyway, who cares? It's about recognizing my high level of achievements. The episodes tell a heartwarming and charming tale of why it's important to chase your dreams, even if they may seem outlandish, and even if people stand in your way. Water, check. Taffy, check. Headlamp, check. Medical records, check. One copy of Atlas Shrugged, check. Buddy, check. That's everything. Come on, Penny, science awaits. Number eight, the wild thornberries. Over here, grab a hand. What kid didn't wish they could talk to animals? Eliza Thornberry got to live that dream in this animated series from the studio that created Rugrats. You can speak to us? Yeah, it's a long story. The Thornberries are a family of nature documentarians who travel the world, giving Eliza the opportunity to meet all kinds of wildlife and embark on thrilling adventures. Here, this will help you. Our juice! The series was praised for promoting empathetic views of animals while simultaneously and subtly educating children about zoology. As one of Nickelodeon's early 2000 hits, it would spawn two theatrical films, one featuring characters from Rugrats and the other receiving an Oscar nomination. I made everyone dinner, so I shouldn't have to clean up too, right? Mom, all she did was hand us a jar of peanut butter. Number seven, as told by Ginger. Someone once told me the grass is much greener. As Told by Ginger follows junior high student Ginger and her friends as they navigate these formative years. It received critical acclaim for its unique approach to the adolescent experience. I heard Mipsy and Lonnie got caught talking during the math final, and now they have to take the whole class over in summer school. Unlike most other cartoons, which kept characters in consistent clothing in order to save money, the characters here wear different clothes scene by scene, and it features ongoing story arcs rather than a series of standalone episodes. Oh, pinch me. Did Courtney Grippling just practically congratulate me? Relying less on comedy than most other animated children's series, it succeeds in making the issues feel real and legitimate to its young audience, rather than looking down or poking fun at them. Art Shuri, when will that ever come up in real life? You'd be surprised. Number six. The Legend of Korra. Got an idea about who I am now, chumps? When Avatar The Last Airbender left our TV screens, we were left with a hole that couldn't be filled. That is, until Korra came along. The Legend of Korra is a sequel series, 
taking place 70 years after its predecessor and following Korra, the new Avatar. Nice to meet you, Avatar Korra. Yeah, been a real pleasure. As she's primarily a waterbender, the show follows her journey to master the other three elements. I... I can airbend? I can airbend! Like the former series, it manages to be humorous yet dark, weaving magical and engaging story arcs for its compelling protagonist. By expanding the mystical world of Avatar, Korra establishes its own voice, equal parts familiar and new, but never living in the shadow of its prequel. Number 5. The Proud Family Family, a family, proud family You know you have something special when Beyonce is one of the vocalists behind the theme song. Penny Proud is a high school age girl living with an eccentric and dysfunctional family. I almost forgot. Can I have my allowance? After you sold me out, you expect to get money? Oh, Oscar, give the girl her allowance. Most episodes focus on Penny's coming of age boldly tackling issues of race in a time when few other children's shows were doing the same. It has some of the most unique world-building in all of animation, featuring storylines varying from the downright bizarre to the mundane. You told me to always stand up for what I believe in. Now I'm telling you to get in the house. Taking the journey with Penny is a laugh-a-minute riot, and she has a lot to teach children about what it means to be truly who you are and be proud. Yeah, Daddy, I think it'll be fun having the whole family together. That's because you weren't at the wedding. Number four, Daria. Nobody told me about any tests. Don't worry, it's a psychological test. You're automatically exempt. Daria Morgendorfer made her debut as a sharp, sarcastic, and intelligent classmate in Beavis and Butthead, proving popular enough to earn her own spin-off show. Her notoriously cynical personality provides a biting lens through which she views the world. Don't worry, I don't have low self-esteem. It's a mistake. I'll say. I have low esteem for everyone else. This, however, is in stark contrast to the fellow residents of Lawndale, who serve as a satirical view of American life. As one of the few female-led adult cartoons, Daria became one of MTV's highest-rated series during its run, and was acclaimed by critics and audiences alike. Stop following me, Daria! You're following me! We go to the same school. Her legacy is so influential that even over two decades later, audiences are clamoring for her unique perspective, with MTV announcing a reboot in 2018. I didn't mean to hurt him. The knife just slipped 67 times. Number three, Kim Possible. I'm your basic average girl, and I'm here to save the world. You can't stop me cause I'm Kim Possible. Don't even pretend you don't still get that theme song stuck in your head. Kim is a high school girl who pulls double duty by fighting crime with the help of her best friend, Ron Stoppable. I am not one of them. I am a cheerleader. They mean nothing to me, I mean nothing to them. See you after practice. Though she does the impossible on a daily basis, she's still relatable, as not even she is immune to the trials and tribulations of adolescence. Ron! I have like 30 seconds to print my history paper! Equal parts wacky and thrilling, there's never a dull moment in her world, whether she's kicking butt or practicing her cheer routine. It's rare to see a young woman so confident and capable on our screens, and that's why we've never quite fallen out of love with Kim. Sitch me. Scanning indicates Draken's atmosphere disruptor is right below you. Let's rock. Number 2. She-Ra, Princess of Power She-Ra she may not have gotten as much attention as her twin brother, He-Man, but her adventures were just as captivating. She-Ra is the alter ego of Princess Adora, who, with her powers and sword of protection, leads the Great Rebellion. Then it's an even bigger challenge. And I love a challenge. By today's standards, it's hard to argue that it doesn't feel dated, but it's still a great bit of ridiculous fun, and it was rare to see such a tough leading lady on TV in the 80s. Good luck! Though she may have been overshadowed by her brother back in the day, she stuck with audiences over time with a reboot set to air on Netflix in 2018. Before we unveil our top pick, 
Here are a few honorable mentions. It's Jane Mellon! Mother! Please don't call me that in front of the other robots. It's so embarrassing. Why fight what you know is right? Why fight, little one, when you know that you can just win? Because I'd rather fight. We are the misfits, the misfits. Number one, the Powerpuff Girls. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born! This is the show that made you wish you could have been created with Chemical X. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup are the lone protectors of the city of Townsville, battling a huge roster of villains, including him, the Rowdy Rough Boys, and of course, the awesomely named evil monkey Mojo Jojo. Prepare to get a taste of what Chemical X can really do! The series became instantly iconic thanks to its relentless playfulness and infinite feeling of fun packed into each episode. What are you guys, new? Yeah, we're the Powerpuff Girls! And it takes a lot more than a couple of cheap shots to make us cry. With a style unmatched by any other cartoon, these girls have established themselves as a major pop culture phenomena. And for such small girls, they sure do pack a whole lot of heart. We like our town very, very much, and I would appreciate it if you would just leave. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.